So the next thing I want to show you is how to deal with audio in iMovie. You can import audio or you can use inbuilt audio within iMovie. So all you need to do is to come to the audio tab over here and you can see a number of audios or music that you have within your system. If you want to import any of them, you can just select. You can have a preview of it by just coming here to click on this start button or you can come to the Apple TV where you can have other videos, also other media that are inbuilt within your system and you can have sound effects as well. You have a number of sound effects that you can easily navigate around and select any of them. So if you want to test on any, you can just come to this point, click on this icon to hear the sound. So these are different kind of sound effects. You can see a number of them that are located within here. You can select on any of them. If you want to add it to your timeline, you can just easily select, click, drag and drop it within that particular location. So assuming I want to put this one, you can drag it and put it here and you can move it across. You can come over here, you can trim it to any point that you want it to fill up. You can see, you can select anyone. Maybe this is fish snowball, you can just drag it and drop it you can drag and drop also and connect it depending on what message you are trying to create so you can trim also to fill fill up so this is how to import audio within the iMovie but if you have your own audio like i have had my own audio i imported my, my own audio you can come over here to my media you can come all the way to import go to where you have the music or audio you can just select it um own, i have it here you can just select it and import it i've already imported mine so you can come all the way back and then you can see it over here. So if you want to add any audio within the clip, you just specify where you want to add it and then go ahead and place on this plus sign and it's going to add it to your timeline. And you can see my audio have been added. So assuming I don't want to add this audio at this point, I just want to deal with the one that I built within the software. You can, you can easily navigate and see what we are talking about. Another thing I want to show us as regards audio is the control of the volume. So once you select any audio, you can start playing. You will notice that there is the audio profile below, below here. You can zoom in to see it clearly. You can see the point when it starts to turn yellow. That's the point we don't want to exceed. You can turn to yellow, then to orange, and then, then, uh, then to red. If it gets to red, then it's problem because it's clipping. It's not going to sound very well. So you have to make sure that the clips or the audio is within the green sign, okay, and not exceeding to yellow and even entering the orange or red sign so you have to be very very careful with this especially when you are dealing with background music or background audio because the main purpose is for it to soften the whole thing and to make the learning very easy and nice to put a very entertaining music behind at the background so that's the main idea so you have a number of controls to be able to monitor and adjust the clip volume okay so you can just select on any clip volume you have you can come over here you can see this small horizontal line you can come to it until your cursor turns into these vertical arrows. You can just click and drag it right now. It's at 100%. You can drag it down to reduce the volume. Okay, you can see it up to zero and you can drag it up to increase it up to the point when it is peaking to yellow, to orange and to red, which is very bad because it's clipping. Okay, and it's not going to sound uh, not nice. So you can adjust the clip by just uh, selecting and then coming down. You can see it has reduced the size. And if I try to play it, you see the volume is going to reduce drastically, okay? So you can play around with the horizontal line to increase or decrease the volume accordingly. Another thing I want to show you is you can easily increase or put in what, what we call the fade in and fade out in terms of the volume. So as soon as I want to make, I want my clip to start from here, I can just select here, come to the edge here and just uh, do a basic trim. And I trim it to that point, I drag here, and I drag this one as well and connect them. So as soon as I want my audio to have a fade in, somewhere to start maybe at zero until it peaks to 100, and then maybe fade out uh, where it's going to fade, start from 100 and then fades down to zero as it exits that particular section. So to add in fade in and fade out, all you need to do is select that particular audio, audio clip and come to the dot over here, this small circle, you can see it. And as your, your cursor turns into this, two arrows horizontal, you can just click and drag it. You can see, you can move the profile inwards just like so, and you can see now you created a fade in. So what this means is the video, the audio is going to play at zero, start at zero audio, uh, at zero volume, and then it's going to navigate across and until it gets to 100. Okay, so when it gets to 100, that's when we hear it fully. And then the music is going to continue with this same volume of 100, 
until it gets to another point maybe at this point i would like it to stop here and start fading out okay so i click here i want it to start fading out from this point so i can come all the way here and to this small circle this small circle with the black dot and just click it and then drag it across okay and you can see i've created a fade out up until this point i want it to fade out until this point so it start at 100 here and then move down to zero so this is how to create a fade in and fade out now when you want to copy the effect of what you have here into other clips all you need to do is just select the clip okay right click and say copy and say copy and then you can come all the way here and paste okay you can select this very clip that you want to paste this very effect that you have uh, added so you select the clip you can come all the way over here to edit you can come to paste attributes and you can go over here and say paste volume okay so i want it to i want to paste the volume effect and you can see it has given us that fade in fade out and even it has reduced the volume to the same uh, volume level okay you can see from the horizontal line now this is how to uh, basically play around with the audio and put in some basic properties uh, in cases when you want to add some noise reduction and other audio parameters to enhance the quality of the audio you can always come over here and you can see this um, this volume control you can select it and you can see over here you can play around with the volume you can increase or decrease it also alternatively you can see you can increase or decrease it and you can see it from the profile over here increasing and decreasing you can take it to 100 or you can basically leave it at 100 or if you want to go down you can go down to maybe 30 or 35 so you can just do that you can lower the volume of other clips you can select the clip once you select the clip you can go ahead and lower the volume accordingly from here and then if you want to add some very basic audio correction or noise reduction or other effect you can select on this clip you can see reduce background noise once you select on this it's going to reduce background noise on this particular clip that you've selected and then you can increase or decrease the impact this is 50 percent you can go as far as 70 80 percent but be very careful because this is going to affect the quality of the audio so usually 60 is good or something like 55 is good okay so you can leave it at 55 and it's going to eliminate the background noise without actually affecting the quality of the audio and then you have other features like the equalizer you can click on this and you can have enhance the voice you can do music enhance loudness enhance you can do hume reduction bass boost you can do uh, bass reduce treble boost and treble reduce also you can apply all these features over here uh, within that particular clip so once you finish at applying it applying all the features on one clip you can just uh, copy the effect and then paste it on others so you don't no need for you to do on all the clips okay so this is basically how to bring in audio from within iMovie or you can import audio from your computer and do this very basic editing and uh, professionalism or uh, very basic additions and subtractions to make your audio sound professional and look much more professional and nice that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one